This video will walk you through the installation process for the new Techwood European Siding System for vertical applications. This system, available in multiple styles, combines the toughness and longevity of a capped wood plastic composite with an engineered design. The shield gives the siding superior stain and fade resistance, making it long-lasting and ultra-low maintenance. And the true closed rain screen system, together with specified trim pieces, keeps your building safe and dry. The aluminum installation clips, part number AW08, hold the boards perfectly. The clip also allows for the boards to expand and contract, and is used as a locking clip to control the direction of expansion and contraction. The clip also allows for air circulation with a quarter inch of air space behind the siding and helps the boards function as a true closed rain screen system. To begin installation, especially in remodels, we recommend first installing aluminum or pressure treated wood furring strips or battens across the wall. Strips should be installed every 16 inches on center. When installing your siding vertically and thereby installing horizontal furring strips, Make sure and leave a gap of at least an inch and a half between the lowest furring strip on the wall and the floor beneath it. A minimum gap of 3 8 of an inch must be left between the topmost furring strip and the ceiling. If your project will work around doors and windows or require finished outside corners, the next step is to install your trim pieces. These can include starter or end trim and outside corner trim. By installing the trim before the siding, it allows you to get your measurements precisely right when you cut your siding, and it allows the siding to sit on top of the trim properly. The portion of the trim piece that is mounted to the structure is intentionally the same thickness as the aluminum installation clips, so that your siding will sit flush on the trim. When you install your trim, make sure it's mounted on furring strip material as well so that the trim is mounted on the same plane as your siding. Pre-drill the trim piece and screw it through the furring strip and into the structure. We recommend a distance of 16 inches or 500 millimeters between screws when you attach the trim to the building. Now we're going to show you how to install your siding for vertical runs. Horizontal runs can be found in a separate video. We recommend using a ledger board, either temporarily or permanently installed, since the first board in the run will be face fixed onto the structure. Once the ledger board is in place, you can begin installing the first run of siding, which will be face fixed in place. Make sure and do this in the lower groove, not the raised section of the board. We recommend using number eight pan head screws and that you pre-drill holes in the siding that are slightly larger on the profile to allow for expansion and contraction. Next, attach the AW08 aluminum installation clips in place on each furring strip using a stainless steel number 8 pan head or flat head 1 inch screw. The clip at the top of each board should always be used as a locking clip. If your run is less than 12 feet, we recommend just one locking clip at the top. If it's over 12 feet, we recommend the two locking clips at the top. The other clips will only receive a single screw which will only mount the clips to the furring strips and allow for expansion and contraction. Continue to work your way along the wall following the same pattern. When you get to the end, use a trim piece or rubber stoppers to finish it off. These are used to provide appropriate spacing at the end since you cannot install the AW08 aluminum clips. If you need to rip a board to fit, cut the board in the groove, not through the raised portion of the board. The extra material on the end allows room for play so that you do not have to cut through a raised portion of the board. The final board in the run will be face fixed as well, installing your screws in the lower groove. We recommend using number 8 stainless steel pan head screws and that you pre-drill holes in the siding that are slightly larger on the profile to allow for expansion and contraction. Install your screws every 16 inches on center. It's important to note that New Tech Wood strongly recommends working with licensed professionals when installing any of our Ultra Shield wall cladding components. A full installation guide is available to download on our website at newtechwood.com/us/siding. Thanks for your interest in the New Tech Wood Ultra Shield European Rain Screen Siding System, and good luck with your next project.